you ever wanted to explore deep space? Well, I'm here with someone today that goes to the edge of the universe every day. I'm here with Pete from Horizon the Planetarium at SciTech. Pete, can you tell us a little bit more about the planetarium? We've got the ability to take people on a, a bit of a trip around the universe. We can go to other planets, other stars, look at other galaxies. We've also got a whole range of full dome movie style shows that we're showing here as well. What exactly will we experience when we're sitting in the planetarium? Okay, to, to begin with, in a normal session, um, you'll come in, uh, presenter will introduce themselves, and then they'll give you a guide, um, a, a bit of a tour around the, the night sky as you see it from Perth. So you'll find out all about the stars and constellations that you can go home tonight and see for yourselves. Um, then we'll go a little bit further beyond, so we'll go out into the solar system and look at some of the cool things that we find out there. So Pete, what are some of the planets that we could actually explore at the planetarium? Um, we can explore any of the planets, so that means we can go to any planet in the solar system, so that might be Saturn or Jupiter. We can also visit the moons of those planets. Uh, beyond our own solar system, we could go to planets that we found around other stars, what we call exoplanets. Um, and when we find new exoplanets, when astronomers and scientists find new exoplanets, we're quite lucky here in the planetarium that we can upload all of that data into our system and we can take our audiences to those exoplanets the next day after they're found. And can you actually take us to the edge of space? We can. Given enough time, it's quite a big universe, about 13.7 billion light years across. Um, so it does take a little bit of time and, and we take our audiences from Earth all the way out to the edge of the universe and back again in around about 45 minutes. All feels like you're actually looking into space. Yep, well we've got, um, we're, we're very lucky here, we've got an, an 18 metre dome screen which makes Horizon the, the biggest planetarium in Australasia and for our audiences it means that um, what they're seeing goes beyond their peripheral vision. Because it goes beyond their peripheral vision and they don't see any edges, um, it means that they're immersed in what, in what we show them. Pete, why do you think planetariums are important? It allows people to come and learn more about space and the stars. Everybody can stand out in their back garden at night and they can look up at the sky and, and, and you know, you and I and everybody else does it themselves. They look up and they wonder what's up there. They look at stars, they look at objects and they imagine what they could possibly be. In the planetarium we're able to explain what they are, we're able to tell them the stars and the constellations and the planets and the objects they're looking at, what they're called and what they are, so that they can go back out that night, they can have a look at those objects and they've got a better understanding. Pete, for kids that don't have access to a planetarium, what are some other ways that they can learn more about space? First thing to do is to get outside, have a look at the, the night sky. Um, if you've got any books lying around about astronomy or space, then, then have a look at, uh, at what they say. And also get online um, and uh, start investigating some of those things that you're, you're not so sure about or that you want to learn about. What an amazing experience. I actually felt like I was travelling through space. If you want to know more about the planetarium, go to the SciTech website. Pete, thank you so much for the experience. You're welcome. See you later.